Brothers and sisters in Christ, as we gather tonight in prayer, let us prepare our hearts and minds to reflect upon the passion and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we journey alongside Jesus during the last days of his earthly life, we witness his agony, betrayal and execution on Calvary. We ask for mercy for all that we have done and all that we have failed to do. We receive with gratitude the gift of himself to save us from our sins and as we do so, we ask for the grace to be generous to those in need. Finally, we share the astonishment and joy of that first Easter morning with music and scripture. We ponder the all-consuming love of God, the sacrifice of His Son and His glorious resurrection, the ultimate triumph of light over darkness. We also remember all those facing anxiety, illness or bereavement and all whose lives are blighted by war, famine or disease. We hold them in our prayers and we ask God's blessing upon them. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of St. Mark. When they drew near to Jerusalem, the Bethpage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a coat tied, on which no one has ever sat, untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found the coat tight at the door out in the open street and they untied it. And those who stood there said to them, What are you doing here untying the coat? 
and they told them that Jesus had said and they let them go and they brought the coat to Jesus and threw the garments on it and he sat upon it and when he spread the garments on the street and spread leafy branches which they had cut from the fields and those who went before and those who followed cried out Hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is coming Hosanna in the highest the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ Gospel of St. John. I tell you most solemnly, whoever believes in me will perform the same work as I do myself. He will perform even greater works because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask for in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask for anything in my name, I will do it. 
If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. That spirit of truth, whom the world can never receive, since it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he is with you. He is in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you in a short time. The world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will understand that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be one who loves me, and anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. They then took charge of Jesus and carrying his own cross, he went out of the city to the place of the skull, or as it was called in Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him with two others, one on either side with Jesus in the middle. Pilate wrote out a notice and it had it fixed on the cross. It ran, Jesus, the Nazarene, King of the Jews. This notice was read by many of the Jews because the place where Jesus was crucified was not far from the city and the writing was in Hebrew, Latin and Greek. So the Jewish chief priest said to Pilate, you should not write King of the Jews. But this man said, I am king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. The soldiers had finished crucifying Jesus. They took his clothing, 
and divided into four shares, one for each soldier. His undergarment was seamless, woven in one piece from neck to hem. So they said to one another, instead of tearing it, let us throw dice to decide who is to have it. In this way, the words of scripture was fulfilled. They shed out my clothing among them. They cast lots for my clothes. This is exactly what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. After this, Jesus knew that everything had now been completed and to fulfill the scripture perfectly, he said, I am thirsty. A jar full of vinegar stood there, so putting a sponge soaked in vinegar on a hip-sop stick, he held it up to his mouth. After Jesus had taken the vinegar, he said, It is accomplished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. 
On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in white robe seated on the right side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, "There is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See." Here is the place where they laid him, but you must go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him, just as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading of the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those of us who are being saved, it is power of God. For it is written, "I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the cleverness of the clever. I will thwart." Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. It pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those. Who believe? For Jews demand signs, and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power 
of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For consider your call, brethren. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards, but many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing the things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, whom God made our wisdom, our righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. Therefore, it is written, Let him who boast, boast of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the Word of God through scripture and song, let our hearts be filled with the expectation of the risen Lord, the same Christ who suffered torture at the hands of those who so recently welcomed him into Jerusalem and died upon the cross to save us from our sins. Let us then go forth with the charity and love of God in our hearts, that we may be witnesses to his message of eternal salvation. And may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Thanks be to God.